Uh, now we will see the different compartments that exist in the switch gear. So there are many different types of enclosure designs for the medium voltage switch gear which are in use. However, the most commonly accepted and used style is a metal enclosed with segregated and insulated apparatus compartments. So most common designs have the four compartments and in that exist in the metal clad switch gear. So one is the bus bar compartment. Another one is the cable compartment. The number three is the switching compartment. Number four is the low voltage compartment and another compartment that is not really common is an arc chamber that we will see together. So here you can see this is basically a MV switch gear. As I told you, this is the compartment where the relay is installed and where all the control circuitry mimic is installed. So this compartment is called as a low voltage compartment. So this compartment is separate compartment here you can see and downside if you come down you will see this is the circuit breaker compartment. So you can open the door and you can rack out the trolley. So trolley is inside this circuit breaker compartment and you can see this is a incoming and outgoing contact of the circuit breaker as well. So you can see this is the trolley that is available inside the circuit breaker compartment. And here you can see backside this is the bus bar compartment. So the bus bar compartment is look like this and if you come down you will see this is the cable compartment. So cable entry is is from the bottom in the MV switch gear and you can see this is the connection is for the voltage transformer. So you can see the voltage transformer as well that is installed in the cable compartment. So this is another type of uh, switch gear. So in this time, so in this type you can see number one is arc chamber. So arc chamber is basically is now uh, most most of the companies are going for the arc chamber. And the reason behind this one is that if there is any arc in any of the compartment, the flappers are provided. And if there is an arc, for example, in the bus bar compartment or in the circuit breaker compartment, these flappers will become open with the pressure and the arc will be directed through this arc chamber. And this arc chamber is normally located outside of the building. So advantage of this arc chamber is that you are saving and controlling the damage to the MV switch gear in case of a arc fault. So if there is no arc chamber, then this complete switch gear will, will be burned out. And this might be possible that the another chamber that is near to this can also got damage. So that's why the arc chamber you will find more and more in the new designs. So number two, you can see this is the low voltage compartments because all the low voltage wiring, control wiring, protection wirings, mimic control is available here. Number three, uh, number two is low voltage wire way. So you can see this is, you can see kind of table trolley, uh, all the LT cables are going through this. Number four is a bus bar compartment. So you can see this is the bus bar and you can extend the bus bar to the next panel and you can connect it. Number five is a circuit breaker. So you can see this is a circuit breaker compartment and you can see this is the male and female parts and the moving parts are basically uh, circuit breaker uh, parts are uh, inside this cable uh, circuit breaker trolley. Uh, then you can see automatic shutter. So number six is here is automatic shutter. So as soon as the breaker is racked out, shutter is closed and the shutter is closed. Then this shutter is disabling anyone to touch the bus bar or the cable side. So if as soon as the trolley is out, the shutter will close and that will basically yeah that is a safety requirement so nobody can then touch the bus bar or the cable sign and and uh, also in good designs the shutter is also provided with the padlock so next is automatic shutters and then that seven is earth switch so you can see earth switch is provided here normally a three position earth switch is provided and it means that you can close the isolator, open the isolator and connect the earth. So there is one same device that has three positions. So in this way, also you are avoiding the grounding of, external grounding of the feeder. 
if earth is closed so an isolator cannot be closed because it's already three position then number eight is a current transformer so you can see cable is coming here going into the ct and then coming out of the ct so current transformer is connected in series so you will find two connections you can recognize current transformer from the voltage transformer that the current transformer has two terminals one is coming in another is coming out because this is the current circuit it has to be in series number nine you can see this is the voltage transformer so you can see this voltage transformer here has only one connection so you can easily recognize that this is a vt another connection is connected to the ground and you can see this is the cable compartment access from the bottom and this vt can be racked out so you can see these connections are in a way that this vt can be racked out and inside this long connection the fuses are also placed these are the primary fuses number 10 is a cable termination so you can see this is the cable termination which is available here and 11 is you can see this earthing bar so this is another arrangement for the compartment so i hope the, you have got a great idea now that how the mv switch gear look like so we can go to study each compartment one by one thank you very much